Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on May 31st, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything else affecting humanity. Start now here, looking at the sun, 304 angstroms, as we have do, we do have an incoming earth-facing sunspot, looking at incoming imagery here, as well we have a southern region cresting sunspot so we've had two form on the surface earth facing on the sun over the past 24 hours as well 2824 has shown some activity so there are about four sunspots right now across the sun and this activity coming in on the southwest region is antipode to all of the energy that was happening on the northeast side of the sun just having a quick look here at the formation of that amazing sunspot. But here you can see, this is the correlation here. So the top right is 26 and 24, or 28 and 24. And they were pretty active over the last little bit. And I was expecting antipode reaction sunspot. And it looks like there's already a cresting, pretty active cresting southwest sunspot. So we'll see here in the coming days. Right now we do... We now have an Earth-facing coronal hole. As you can see, that dark region has built. And we're not really seeing too much for space weather activity right now. Looking at the ISWA space prediction spiral, not much to report. We are expecting a little bit of activity tonight from the CME, and it looks like we've seen an early start to it. There was a small spike here, up to 520 kilometers per second after getting down to 328 so that's quite a spike 320 to 520 200 kilometers per second and it, it, it almost shows here with the Schumann resonance looking at a small spike over the past three hours looking at a quiet and comfortable power of 11 having a look at earthquakes last 24 hours and we have been pretty busy Start out here most recently with a pretty sizable 5.3 in Japan, Honshu, Japan. Let's get all the earthquakes here because there has been 330 earthquakes over the past 24 hours, according to USGS. Largest being a 6.1 that occurred overnight in Alaska. So large 6.1 in Chickaloon, Alaska. 10 kilometer depth and many aftershocks afterwards but not very sizable ones a lot of shallow large or sorry a shallow and uh, small earthquakes to follow also seeing some action here in the Aleutian Islands 4.3 4.2 that was yesterday so this was before all of the activity last night and overnight in Alaska but yeah we're seeing the activity come back to Japan and as well the Marianas Trench a lot of deep earthquakes and fours here ringing off through Indonesia. 239 kilometer depth there, that 4.5, 194 kilometer depth. But yeah, what's coming up in Indonesia? China seeing a 5.2 here, still King High. And as well, 4.2 reported here, India. And just recently as well, Yemen reporting a 4.2 at a 10 kilometer depth. And 4.4 there, Cyprus, Aegean Sea. The Atlantic Ocean seeing some activity today as well. Mid-Atlantic Ridge, 5.0, 4.7, and as well for a 4.8. Port 
Puerto Rico activity coming back there as well. Cuba seeing a, a 4.1 today. South America still pretty quiet in my mind, in my opinion. Chile, 114 kilometer depth. But there hasn't been a large earthquake in South America for a little, quite some time. There's been a lot of fours, fives. Pacific rise as well, East Pacific rise seeing 5.3 and a 5.1. So Pacific Ocean yesterday and then the Atlantic Ocean today. Hmm, what's going on? We've got some major tectonic plate movement happening, I think, in our oceans and across the world for that matter. Back to the Kermadex in New Zealand here, 5.0, 10 kilometer depth. As well, Kermadec Islands, 4.6, 5.3 Tonga, and our deepest at the last 24 hours, 4.4, 626 kilometer depth. Wow, that's deep. That's deep. As well, Hawaii is seeing some increased activity as well, southeastern flank. Let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes. Finally, we're seeing some activity here at North American Plate. I'm happy that it's not in a populated area throughout Alaska. Interesting movement here, Atlantic and Pacific. Deep earthquakes coming back to West Pacific Plate, Indonesia, and as well, Tonga. Seismicity increasing Southern Europe and as well, continual through African Plate. And that's the last seven days for earthquakes. Stay aware and prepared, and please just have a plan, everybody. Much love, prayers for humanity. Having a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the tropical systems. We have two tropical systems that are alive right now. But if, if you look in the Pacific Ocean, there's quite a large low pressure system in there as well. Atmospheric river coming in behind that and then intense forecast coming up here. Five day forecast. But we do have tropical storm Blanca. That's right, Blanca, like the street fighter, green haired dude, green dude with long hair. Tropical Storm Blanca is alive. Forecast model shows going west, but I think it's going to go north. As well, looking here, Tsunami Watch was put out as a 5.8 overnight to the 6.1, but no tsunami or warning was imminent. Having a look here at the most recent volcano stop date, Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Mpopo, Mexico, Sabancaya, Peru, Reventador, Nirigongo, Sangay, Nevados de Chilean, as well Fuego, Semis Nopochnoi, Kerinchi, and as well Semeru, Indonesia, Etna, Dokono, the Great Sitkin, and Pacaya. Many volcanoes. Now, I did not get the volcano update yesterday as I needed a day of rest. So I got that, and please look forward to the volcanic activity report coming up tomorrow for week 23. And there is a tropical storm, Chawen, and it is heading into the Philippines, most likely going to graze coastal regions of the eastern Philippines. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, and as well, morning dew daily events worldwide. Starting out here at Calgary, Alberta, as things are really going to heat up over the next little bit. Watch that temperature go right up to 33. That's right. For northern parts of Alberta and Saskatchewan, extreme heat warning will be in effect over the next few days. Summer is here. Is here for sure. And looking at these temperatures, it's kind of strange, though. They're all coming from the very active regions all along the west coast and as well southeastern regions through Florida where a lot of hot spots are being observed that's right thanks lurk face hashtag do crew having a look at the five day forecast not much moisture for the week as things warm up but as that moisture moves down watch for storms to move in through the plains of Canada and as well, watch for extreme weather to move through southeastern United States and coastal regions. Large atmospheric river affecting you over the next little bit. 
And I tell you, a lot of friends in the live stream saying Florida is dry and hot. So that's going to be very welcomed. Some moisture coming. Overlooking the Atlantic, large high pressure ridge still dominating and keeping these intense low pressure systems in the northern hemisphere spinning around the green, uh, Greenland, kind of keeping winter around for parts of northern hemisphere. Overlooking Europe, low pressure center over Turkey is going to hang out throughout the week. Atmospheric river of moisture heading out of that as well, eastward into Russia. Low pressure system here coming into Ireland and the UK. Bring scattered showers throughout most of Europe, actually, central parts and as well western parts. Little system moving into Spain. A low pressure center north of this large high pressure ridge, eastern and northern Europe. Keeping things dry. But big low pressure center here. This is pretty big. And you can see here, these systems are still joining forces. Interesting, interesting forecasts. Having a look over the Indies, Southeast Asia. Intense heat, extreme heat conditions as well through Pakistan and westward. As well, monsoon rains have arrived for parts of India and as well up into Myanmar, Thailand. Atmospheric river of moisture here heading through China and out into Japan and then out into the Pacific Ocean as forecasted the other day. And then looking here, tropical storm, Chao Wan. Looks like it'll just graze Philippines and then head out into the middle of the Pacific. But big, intense. Now two high-pressure ridges in the Pacific Ocean and an interesting low-pressure center in the middle of them. High-pressure ridge hanging out on the west coast still. Keeping things dry until later in the week. In parts of BC. And see if some moisture move in in the long-range forecast. Other than that, it's going to be pretty dry, warm, and welcome to summer. Please get out there and enjoy it. Much love. Stay safe out there and just be ready for extreme weather when it comes around. Having a look over South America, no major weather events except for this system moving in. Long-range forecast here, parts of southern Argentina. Africa. Extreme heat as well through northwestern and up into Somalia. No major weather systems affecting you this week, except for the South Africa low pressure center as forecasted in two days ago in the video. Having a look over Australia, high pressure ridge getting ready to move out and that low pressure center that affected southwestern Australia is now going to be heading into southeastern Australia. Bringing in some pretty cool temperatures behind it, so watch for scattered showers over the next few days. Pretty gray days for parts of southeastern Australia. As well as some intense, a very intense low pressure center the size of Australia, just south of you. Just thought I'd let you know, just saying. It's as big as you are. <laughs> also looking over in New Zealand this week, high pressure ridge until Friday, but then you've got some extreme weather heading your way. Watch as these straight line winds are going to be pounding the coastline through New Zealand and a lot of rain. So heads up, my New Zealand friends, you do have some extreme weather on your doorstep. As well, the Pacific is getting very active. We could see some intense storms form for typhoon season. Looking at some moisture here, getting ready to move in to parts of Hawaii later in the week. Looks like Tuesday to Saturday. Look for scattered showers. Going to leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern. Intense, as I said, and interesting. Jet streams, low pressure systems. But it's all adding up. Just saying. Much love. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye now.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the